This is Pat Soundbites Unplugged. Unplugged. The podcast where all the artists go to tell it as it is. Careers, music, tours, and more. And here's your host, the man that refuses to eat squid, Pat Calamari. Hello. Welcome to another edition of Pat Soundbites Unplugged Podcast. Pat Calamari here, your host as always. Thank you for following along, hitting the subscribe button, sharing, liking, and providing me your feedback. Today's a special pad sound bite because there's like a time sensitive thing going on. Did you know this Saturday, June the 12th, is Record Store Day? It's actually there are two dates. This Saturday, June the 12th, and also on July 17th. But today I got to speak to the amazing, incredible bassist, keyboardist of the legendary rock band Triumph, Mike Levine. And uh, Triumph were named Canadian Ambassadors for this year's Record Store Day. How cool is that? And, you know, it makes all the sense. I mean, one of the greatest and most successful Canadian rock bands of all time. So why not? And on Saturday the 12th, through Round Hill Records, Triumph will be releasing an exclusive 40th anniversary box set of their classic 1981 album, Allied Forces. And not only that, it's an incredible box set. Um, speaking with Mike about it, I mean, there are three vinyls, a picture disc of original Allied Forces studio album. Vinyl number two is two LPs live in Cleveland in 1981. Vinyl three is a seven inch single tribute 2021 version of Allied Forces and Magic Power live from Ottawa in 1982, never before released. A 24 page booklet featuring rare photos and behind the scenes and Allied Forces essay, 40th anniversary Allied Forces retro tour book, retro tour poster, retro tour pass, three hand-drawn cartoons that were drawn by Rick Emmett. How cool is that? And handwritten lyrics of Magic Power, Allied Forces, and Fight the Good Fight. I mean, talk about a box set, an incredible box set. And it is comes out and drops this Saturday, June the 12th. So a uh, real eight-minute quick chat from Mike up in uh, Toronto area. And uh, always a great chat and uh, always a good time. So certainly enjoy and I encourage you to support your independent record store this Saturday on the 12th and also on July 17th. Okay, enough of me. As always, live love and laugh a lot because life is way too short. Enjoy. See ya. WBXO Classic Rock Redefined and is just about the most wonderful time of the year for all you vinyl heads and vinyl record lovers. The first record store day of the year happens at independent record stores worldwide this Saturday, June 12th. And it's such an honor to have back on our rock and roll phone bassist keyboardist for the legendary Canadian hard rock band Triumph, Mr. Mike Levine. How are you, Mike? I'm doing great, Pat. How about you? I am super excited to have you back on our line today and certainly hope you, your family, and the guys are all doing well during this crazy pandemic times that we live in. Yeah, well, we're all getting through it. You know, so everybody's, everybody's good. And um, we're actually here in the province of Ontario where we live, which is the most locked down place in, in the world. We're coming out of lockdown uh, tomorrow night at midnight, at least for a small step forward. Well, at least we're moving forward. That's the main thing. Well, more importantly, Mike, 
Mike, Rick, and Guy of Triumph have been named the Canadian Ambassadors for this year's Record Store Day. So certainly congratulations to you, Mike, and uh, and the, the fellas. Let me start up by asking you, were you a big vinyl record collector guy growing up like myself, running to the favorite record store and grabbing the releases of your favorite bands and going through all the bins and the craziness? Uh, you just described my, my youth. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what me and my buddies did. You know, we'd go to, we had two great record stores right beside each other here in Toronto and, uh, on Young Street, the Grand Street. And on the weekends, we would go down there and be outside at 9 in the morning and spend as much time as we possibly could before they threw us out. You know, you'd go through the new releases, you'd go through the delete bin looking for stuff, you'd go... Uh, yeah, four, four floors of everything, and that's what we did. Yeah, I, I hear you. There's something about going to the store and grabbing that album, opening it up, looking at the sleeve, looking at the liner notes, the lyrics. You remember what was the first album you purchased? Yeah, it was uh, Chicago Transit Authority. Oh, cool. A real good one there. Well, man, we have yeah, come up. A... Go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry. The first album I ever saw. Absolutely. We have come such a long way. Vinyl and cassettes and 8-tracks and CDs and MP. My kids look at me like I'm a dinosaur having all this stuff in a room. And uh, a lot of albums remastered, reissued. There's 180 grams pressed in different colors. I mean, it's the, the craziness that goes with all this, Mike. We, and, you know, it's funny to see so many folks... And I guess like myself, like that organic, analog, mono sound, kind of more over the digital. Are you more of an analog versus digital guy? Yeah, I'm, you can call it, I have a t-shirt that says, uh, my name is Mr. Analog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a, a huge fan of vinyl because, uh, you know, digital's okay, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a, you know, different, but different listening experience for me, but I'm a snob. So that's okay, but you know, digital is, is is black or white. Period. That's the way it's read. That's the way the sensors read it. That's the way it's reproduced. However, vinyl is like black and white and light gray and medium gray and dark gray, and you know, you mix those colors together, and that's what what makes vinyl such a great listening experience. Yeah. It's, it covers the the sound spectrum is uh, is much better covers on vinyl than on a digital product. Can't, I absolutely agree with you 100%. And it certainly makes all the sense that Triumph, your band, Mike, named Canadian Ambassadors for the Day, one of the greatest and most successful Canadian rock bands of all times, without a doubt. I remember seeing you guys here in Poughkeepsie back my first Triumph show back in 1982, right sure. after Allied Forces... Oh. Uh, came out. You remember Poughkeepsie? <laughs> we, I don't think we missed the tour if we didn't play Poughkeepsie. There you go. Well, I was at every one of those shows. And Speaking of record music collector's dream through Round Hill Records, Triumph will be releasing an exclusive 40th annual box set of the classic 1981 album Allied Forces, fully loaded with rare archival Content and assorted unearthed gems, it says. How cool is that, Mike? This had to be certainly a no-brainer featuring your highest charting album of the band's career when it comes to picking out an album. Yeah, I was, um, uh, you know, when, once, you know, Record Store Day Canada came to us about, about them being ambassadors last year, like a year, a year and change ago. And we, we graciously accepted, and so we thought, well, we put better put together, you know, some product that makes that for Record Store Day. But we went up and down, well, we could do a vinyl of this, or we could do this or that, or that, you know, whatever. And we said, hey, well, we've never done a box set. Let's do a box set. Okay, well, what's coming up? Well, it'd be 40th anniversary of Ally Forces, so let's do a Ally Forces box set, everything Ally Forces. So that's how it came to fruition, and then... Thank God there was a, you know, there was so much, there's so much, so many things to pick from and choose and, uh, you know, with COVID just getting together to look at stuff was a problem. And anyway, 
anyway, it's, it turned out fantastic. It's like it's, it's, it's first class. Absolutely. Yeah. When I got my hands on it and got to feel it and touch it and hold it, I went, wow, this is like an incredible package. Well, I can't wait to get my hands on it and feel it this Saturday. An amazing box set, a rock music collector's dream, Round Hill Records issue set, uh, three vinyls, uh, 24 book booklet of rare photos, and behind the scenes Ally Forces essays, 40th anniversary Ally Forces retro tour book, tour poster, tour pass, Rick's pictures, three hand drawn cartoons and man handwritten lyrics of magic power ally forces and fight the good fight my goodness mike you guys did a great job going into the vault and putting it all together for all of us cool fans excellent yeah well we had we had some fun doing it we're we're, we're we also consulted with the fans on what we should put in there too so we had a lot of fan input through our facebook pages what what do you miss the most, Mike? I mean, it's been a while. Obviously, you're not touring anymore, and I know you had a big fan party uh, not too long ago in Toronto and surprising everybody. Uh, what do you miss the most, if anything? Um, you know, hanging out with Rick and Gil all the time. <laughs> you know, we we laugh our way through life. You know, we have great times together, and I, I miss those days. I can, I can almost, I can certainly imagine. I got to meet Rick down here um, at Daryl's house with Dave Dunlop and uh, doing a great couple of sets. Uh, I've seen him a couple of times and met him and uh, inter interviewed Rick a bunch of times and just a terrific fellow. Well, Mike, I know you got a busy day and my time is pretty much running out here. Your music lives on. Still loving Magic Power. Fight the good fight. Say goodbye. And all the incredible music that you, Rick, and Gil have provided for us. I can't uh, encourage the folks to go to your local independent radio store this Saturday and pick up the incredible box set as we just talked about with Mike at Ally Forces. And there's actually two dates. Um, although the Ally Forces drops on this Saturday, there's also a record store day on July 17th. Mike, again, thank you for your time. I hope much success and stay safe and well, my friend. Okay, thank you, Pat, and same to you. Be well and be safe. There you go, WBXO Classic Rock redefined with the incredible Mike Levine of Triumph. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Pat.